Yoshi. This yeah. has been a lot, a lot of Yoshi it's, today. It was a and big, Raptor's not even here today. That's the crazy thing. Yeah, a um, big, a big Long yeah. Island invasion. Yeah. Thank, thank <laughs> wow, <you>. Devin. <laughs> Devin hates Raptor. Goodness gracious. When's the um, beef? Raptor. When's the salt on Twitter? <laughs> when's the twit longer? Oh, and there's the B reverse Eggway, and that's. I, I feel like that's where. Suarez is able to differentiate from a lot of other Yoshi Actually, players is that he yeah. re he regularly tries to condition you out of shield by going for a little bit more grabs, but also a lot of these B reverse eggways, especially off of platforms, Ooh. which is just so strong against uh, any sort of anti-platform tech. Yeah, and a missed opportunity there uh, by Suarez to get a little bit more of a conversion. Uh, however, uh, still uh, in a decent position right now with Tech Chase. I love the delay. I love the delay that Numbers has been going for, fighting straight through the double jump armor with the up smash. But as many of these grabs as Suarez has been getting, the percent hasn't followed suit. Yeah. Instead, it's numbers able to find so many quick, deep breathing conversions that matter uh, have been mattering a ton more. And look, that is the toughest thing to do against numbers uh, is, of course, to go off the stage and finish that stock off. Numbers uh, mix off the stage is so, so good. Um, Going to be able to you know, use that soccer ball, use that up and has many different angles with that up um, that are pretty subtle, but absolutely numbers uh, is on top of those and has been able to get back to the stage nearly every time um, thus far and really in general when one playing does get back pretty often. Man, he was looking for a down air just total randomly, but okay, it is numbers still holding on, holding into center and going for making sure to have that deep breathing online because not only does it increase your offense and increase your kill power, it also increases Weefit's defensive stats. The less knockback, less damage taken, which is certainly going to be helpful against a rage fueled Yoshi, but that delayed up air trying to scout out the air dodge and successfully doing so and killing Suarez at a very high 170, but still a stock lead is a stock lead. Yeah, and ooh, okay, using again, once again that condition we've seen. Oh, looking for another conversion with that up tilt. Oh, the back air does convert into up, up air, but not enough uh, time right there for Suarez to do just that. Um, and numbers, again, in a pretty vulnerable position right here. No deep breathing on deck, so we're going to be able to, to die pretty soon. As I say that, numbers does pop it out. And let's see if it is going to matter. It is not. Okay, that back air is going to be just enough to take that stock. Um, and Suarez is going to be moving on to this second stock against numbers, even percent on both players. Yeah, it feels like Suarez is really starting to adapt to the tempo of the game. John wants to disengage and force uh, Suarez into um, these really crucial whiffs that he will punish. But Suarez is just whiffed less. They've done a lot more of these empty hops, a lot more of these safe options, and really catching that jump into a full combo off of a rising down air. And the ball, it's the it's the medicine ball that is actually going to save John's life from the Have stock. Have you been hanging out with Salty Fun? Yes, actually. You call, prior, you can call it a medicine prior. ball. What is it then? It's a soccer ball. Okay. It's, it's, the move is called header. Gosh, every time. <laughs> okay. Uh, numbers though. What, that stock what if the she just has a very <laughs> strong skull? Like, you don't know. <laughs> Did I not have the same discussion with Salty Fun earlier? This god, okay. Uh, you absolutely that. did. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I will drink my water and be proud of myself. For <laughs> thank um, you. <laughs> with that, with that, with that said, uh, it is numbers who does take that, that stock with the F tilt on the deep, the deep breathing attempt. Uh, however, that is definitely going to be a stock of numbers own being taken. And Suarez even in this game right back up. 21% is all that is taken thus far. Yoshi, no stranger to getting a quick 40 off a combo, sometimes more. So not a deficit that, that uh, Suarez really needs to worry about all that much. Yeah, not in the slightest, but it's what he more has to worry about is finding the opening at all. Numbers is feels like he's immaculately subscribed to, yeah, while you can do some of these incredibly long combos, how are you going to hit me for well, something that matters? But Yoshi down there is all that you need for make it, to make yeah. it matter. Look at how much damage just one move can apply. And I'm shocked that's sent out. I think mean, normally that move sends up. Um, uh -oh. So no, no, numbers got spiked. All right. Well, uh, the, the risk that numbers always takes when playing the ledge game that he does is that most of the time, in order to go for these headers and go for the pressure, he has to Ooh. ledge drop and double did he, jump. Did he utilize his jump before getting hit? I think yes. he, he, double, I mean, he ledge drop double jumped. If we can uh, get this, the replay on screen. Uh, no, not that yeah. one. This one um, right here. They, I think he ledge drop double, double jumped and then he got, just got yeah. fared for it. That's the common thing yeah. for a header. You, you yeah. ledge drop double jump and you got blasted by Yoshi's fair, which is an incredibly strong spike. A proper punish, and while it was a little bit unceremonious, so you stock's a stock, and a game's a game, and that's game one over to Suarez.
Yeah, and right now, um, you know, we've just seen the... Uh, I really, really I feel like Numbers was playing the stronger neutral. I mean, had the percent lead there. Um, one cost him to get the ledge, and that was kind of it. So I think still uh, Suarez is a little bit on the back foot here in terms of the adaptation game. Um, still some things that I think need to... Um, Need to be worked out. Wow, that sh shield took the hole down there. Oh, all of it. Ooh, okay, this is going to be a quick punish for um, Suarez. Looking for that Nair. Numbers dying out, not giving him anything crazy. Ooh. Oh! He got a jab walk on that. I, that Suarez was... finding ways to extend damage, particularly off of uh, jab walks and tech chases, is always going to be immaculate to me because he's able to chain together a jab walk 1 2 into a Nair to force you to tech again. Mm -hmm. and it's just. It's always so creative and really incredible because of how much damage Yoshi can get off of his normal combo tree. Being able to add on to that, ridiculous. Yeah, and Yoshi Texas team is actually pretty strong with moves like Nair. Um, and really, he's been kind of taking that to the next level. Suarez also has always had kind of an insane punish game. Goodness gracious, he almost died. Um, however, Numbers oh. doesn't need to get off the sledge. There okay, and a quick roll will do just that. Yeah, you just really good to wait a beat and trying to get Suarez to overcommit with something like a Yoshi Fair. Wow, the drop through platform up air as well, adding to the layers to this platform game that both of them have been playing where Matt Suarez really has been dominating. Great call out as well. Just Suarez playing one beat ahead after looking like he was forced to play at Numbers' pace throughout the entirety of game one. He's really catching on to that and forcing Numbers to play at his pace now. Yeah, and it's, Yoshi kind of does have the ability to pressure We fit at many different angles and Numbers probably is having some struggles with at the moment. Um, you know, Yoshi kind of can cover so much ground with that just a single jump in. It doesn't even have to be that double jump. It can just be a single full hop or a single short hop. Um, and Yoshi just threatens so much space. I think Numbers has kind of been ill-prepared to handle it at times. Um, with that said, getting that opening there finally on the uh, Yoshi drift in grabs and John is going to recover high there, as far as is, that is. Sent uh, all the way across the stage, though, from that Nepto, and no deep breathing on deck isn't going to make up the difference. John trying to pressure shield, but that time Suarez looking for a little bit of a play out of shield, and here we are back at ledge, the situation that's going to be so repeatable throughout the entirety of this set. A couple Yushi eggs, and that time an early roll nets John a punish and not just an escape from disadvantage, and even nets him a stock because he was allowed to play towards his own ledge trap instead of forced to hold John's. Uh, right. Forced on Suarez, excuse me. And this is a big start for John, a quick 28%. Gets back to ledge where John has been pretty comfortable since losing that uh, late stock um, in game number uh, one. However, this is going to be a decent uh, percent margin that, that John's going to get here in the advantage state. Uh, nice air dodge down right there by as far as to get, to get back down to the ground, back down to neutral. Can I get a punish here? No, wow. Numbers match is truly immaculate. Oh, goodness. You died. Wow. And the flex is rude. He air dodged already, John. Insult to injury. That's, <laughs> such, that's so unfortunate how that uh, stock ended up transpiring. But, I mean, John is going to play with that lead for sure, able to add on to the damage with the header on platform. Oh. Okay, no oh, jump. No oh. jump, but he had just enough time to get to ledge. And this is the power of Weaver Trainer. John has been on this stock for like all of like 20 seconds, and he's at 76% in like three hits. Leaf is a, a character and a half when she wants to be. It's, yeah. I mean, there's a reason that uh, both Wii Fit is reverberates between like high tier and low mid tier because sometimes Wii Fit feels great and other times she yeah. feels really underwhelming. When she has limit, um, it's true. She, she, it's true. She, 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 she is now a very, very good character. And wow, great weight by that right there by John to go over the, uh, or rather go under that egg and get a quick down. So I'm not gonna take the stock just yet, but still in an excellent position with a huge stock lead uh, along with his big percent lead already. Yeah, I like his use of the back hit of uh, forward air in order to make him uh, give himself even more time to punish. It's that dash stack, a good burst option, but without deep breathing, I mean, you can say that for a lot of things. Without oh, deep breathing, yeah. it's a little underwhelming, but that down tilt will certainly be killing at 177. And, and uh, John really started using the low profile that we could sure does have on that crouch and on that down tilt. And you can see at the end of that game there, um, when Yoshi did go for that B reverse, um, neutral B, John just ended up going underneath it. So let's go straight to that, where it says happens. So Suarez is going to jump up, B reverses. Okay, let's go back just a little bit. Boom, boom. Okay, so right here, you see Suarez goes for the neutral B. And John down tilts underneath the neutral V, just there. Good lord, Yoshi is ugly. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? And the down tilt comes out, and John 
Again, that, that move does not linger, so Yoshi's neutral beat does not really linger very long. Um, so John was able to get underneath it. That hit, box, that hit or rather grab box, I should say, is not really out for that long. And um, John is able to take advantage with that down tilt, and it's going to be enough. However, going to the game number one, and Suarez is looking strong thus oh. far. Okay, good delay on on uh, Suarez not using the jump while going off stage for that pressure. I mean, if he did that, Yoshi. Uh, yep. Excuse me, we fit down here. Does it, uh, certainly a ton of damage, and with we deep breathing on deck, it's certainly going to be even more as John is continually looking for more and more down air. But they were a burst forwarder. That could be a ton of damage. Yet yeah, Suarez, a great DP using the down air, uh, using the down special to immediately get back to stage. As we got ourselves a relatively even game right now. Yet another roll in down air, a down tilt. Man, why is down air on the brain? <laughs> Ooh, right. Okay, stock of all there, um, and John is going to be able to get that stock on. Can't hang on to that ledge too long, and uh, it is going to cost Suarez stock number one. And we for Chainer with the lead is um, horrifying. Yeah, you know, 34. It and wasn't I even like the the header hit as well. It was just a clip of the volleyball, but still, 67 is all it takes. And this reversal, the B, the turnaround B, the on the uh, on the side on the header is exactly what John needed in order to close out that stock, though. Because of how he ba almost baited Suarez into going for that flare, they're looking for that stock early. His hubris has ended yes. up what uh, what take what took that stock first. But Suarez is now in a huge hole. Not too yet. Oh, not quite. Okay. All right. They have deep breathing on deck. No and, that, and that is unfortunate for um, Suarez in that situation because now you have to win a neutral again again against numbers. Does, but not oh, with something that's going to be able to kill. That air dodge was so clean. Mashing out and air dodging through Suarez. Fine, the last hit of back air ends up taking it, but like you're you're in a rough spot for sure. And with deep breathing immediately accessible, I almost oh. like how Suarez is playing so fast now. He's starting to dash around a little bit more. He needs to shake John off of his, uh, shake him loose from his hinges because if he keeps going like this, then this could end in a 3-1. Yeah, and you in this position, you are kind of forced to um, approach as John is, as, as John is, or rather, as far as is. Wow, the oh, that off the side. Wow. Again, going deep for that forward air and getting punished for it multiple the times, increasingly, um, getting increasingly harder with those punishes is John. It used to just be uh, lingering hits of the up special as numbers delayed his recovery. That time, he saved his jump the entire time, knowing that Suarez wanted to go deep and got the kill for it. Yeah, and that's the issue is like you are kind of forced to go that deep and kind of go and make these options that are more risky when you're down by such a percent margin because you're looking to get that stock off. Um, can't really play just safe. Um, and because Suarez was forced to jump there, John was able to take full advantage. And uh, now he's up. Two to one. This is potentially Suarez's last stock in the winner's bracket. Um, and could potentially be John moving on to winner's final as well. Yeah, trying to continue that tear he started back at Xeno this week. And look to make it even more, but Suarez trying to interrupt him, getting a couple back airs. You know, certainly these egg setups are so potent, could lead into forward airs and can lead into coverage, is exactly what Suarez needs for a whole ton of damage intercepting and interluding so much of his strategy. There's a Nair out of shield, a classic one for sure. A couple eggs. What's he got here? He's got another attempt at a roll scouted, but that time it looked like he was looking for more defensive options coming out from John, and this time John is just throwing out some of these burst F tilts, covering so much space. There, I don't think there's a jump. Okay, no, there is. Wow, just barely able to get one out before um, doing that uh, egg, or rather not using one with that egg lay. 142 now, but John's not rushing. Trying to keep his time and trying to preparing to blow that soccer ball right into Suarez's face. Yeah, and right now again, this this positioning is, is generally speaking good for um, John. However, Suarez, I think ha what he has done in terms of adaptation is kind of start to stay at ledge a little bit more and wait for those openings to come. Ends up getting one right there, up his up air. Of course, a classic Yoshi confirm. Going to be enough to get stock. A very late hit of up tilt, not uh, allowing him to bypass through the forward air that John did out of shield. But here comes the Wii Fit Classic that just instant F tilt, blowing through any sort of option that Suarez did out of shield. But still, that Nair does 10, and holy moly, he's at 28. Yeah, that was <laughs> one move. Um, Surprise, he got hit by, well, the ball and the header combined together for a whole lot of damage. Yeah, and th that one thing that is like kind of really tough uh, for um, 
Yoshi to deal with is kind of... The, the, you know, Yoshi's a character that likes to go off stage. Wants to be in your face off the stage. And Weaver Trainer has so much mix and so much kind of versatility that available to them off the stage that it can be really tough for, for Yoshi to really net stocks in a way that he so traditionally can. Um, and, ooh, are we, are we dead? Yes, no <laughs> jump. And that, yeah, it looks like the air dodge was intentional, but the drift is what um, yeah. messed him up. Which, I mean... Air dodge death to air dodge death is not going to matter too much. It looks like Suarez is in game two. Matters a ton more because now it's an even game. And with deep breathing online, all these yeah. trades that Suarez was usually goes for in disadvantage now matter so much more because yeah. I mean, the Wii Fit damage is yeah. proven in and of itself. People tell me that Snake is the scariest character to trade with in this game. No, it's deep breathing Wii Fit Trainer. <laughs> the, the, the character just does like 80% like, like to you in like a three-hit combo. Because you, you traded with up tilt, and then you're like, oh, very cool. Okay. Um, time for me to explode. Speaking of exploding, though. Um, wow, I like the forward air there as well. Trying to anticipate an air dodge away or some sort of defensive option instead of just early committing to the up air, which perhaps even could be punished. That's oh, it. no. Okay, I'm about to say, it didn't feel right. Yeah, it's just the kill screen, the, <laughs> the inconsistencies of the kill screen, but. It's Suarez going for his rather consistent out of shield options, not trying to risk too much of that forward air. Certainly, a couple of these forward airs now, super uh, high rolly on these, trying to find these kill early. But there's a grab going for a back throw that won't kill without deep breathing. However, we are getting to that point where deep breathing anything will kill, including deep breathing sun. And it is going to be John over Suarez into winner's finals. I like how early uh, John released this a lot earlier than he had been throughout the. Uh, prior games where he's yeah, charging. That wasn't, that wasn't a full charge sun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely not. And he re he pulls up the charge for enough time to make sure that it will go through egg, but releases it as soon as he sees Suarez uh, pull from ledge. That's what he's reacting yeah. to. And egg yeah, was and certainly that a casualty. Just before the, the, the uh, frame that Yoshi gets the shield there, you can see Yoshi's about to return to the, the uh, normal animation. Like you can see right there, Yoshi's about to return to the normal standing animation. So this is probably like a frame or two before Yoshi this can shield fine. again. Everything's okay. And I want to actually go back to the egg. Uh, yeah. If we could pan over to where Numbers is. Look how close this egg is. Yeah. Released. Yeah. And it breaks through the egg because egg does not have a whole lot of priority. Yeah. And then again, uh, Suarez right is not, just barely does not have enough time to shield here. And you'll see that. You'll right. see, as, as Yoshi's going back into the standing animation, he's like, this is, lol. Well, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, this is, like, I stare into the abyss and the <laughs> abyss, and, and, and you blink. And then he dies. <laughs> and then um, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so Yoshi almost had enough time to shield there is kind of what I was getting across. Um, and Suarez a little bit tight. Well, Suarez definitely does, I think, in general, have a little bit of an issue in terms of, like, Dealing with these zoning air characters, um, definitely a frustration of his, I think, based yeah, on how I've talked to him about it. Um, I mean, he so only really has egg in order to yeah. try and contest these setups and these zones that uh, characters like We Fit Trainer or characters like Samus are able to set yeah. up so effectively. With that said, though, we are going to be having another caster swap. I'm so. finally leaving. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Ubel. 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 It's been a pleasure, my man. Uh, like make less. sure you follow him on Twitter. I will still be here, so don't you don't yeah. have to follow me just yet. Soon, um, soon though. Get prepped for the at shoulder bash. Just search that yeah, on Twitter. Yeah. Like, be prepared Actually, for that. Actually, my, my account's privated right now. Funny story: my kids found my Twitter. Uh, <laughs> so, so then, yeah, uh, it's privated. So, <laughs> hi everyone, if you're watching. Hi, class seven oh seven. But now we're going to a quick <laughs> caster swap. Where you'll be joined by Bars of the Journey. So don't go anywhere. More Smash action is coming your way right after. Peace this. out, everyone.